Hi guys, I know you don't gotta tell me I look homeless. What's new? Spare change. Anyways, focus less on me because today's video is all about Luna. So yeah, I'll be making my dog a wig. Don't do that. So yeah, I'll be making my dog a wig and I know it sounds pretty crazy but you know what? As a human with emotions and feelings, like I kind of felt bad that I walk around looking better than Luna. Like we gotta spice it up. Like Luna has to like have some type of spice to her. Like in my opinion, she looks like a bob type girl but at the same time it seems like she could pull off like a 20 inch weave. Like look at her. Tell me what y'all think. So we'll photoshop a bunch of hairstyles on her and we'll see which one looks the best. Girl don't be kissing up on me like that. I don't know you. So from what I can see, she's a pretty basic girl. Nothing too long, nothing too short, no bangs, no nothing, nothing extra. Like, not much color going on. You know, she's a pretty simple girl, but at the same time, like, simplicity is... Simplicity is the... The... Simplicity is the best... The... Sim simplicity is the best plicity. I don't know what to fucking say, but yeah, we, we just gonna keep it simple. So my initial plan for making this wig was to go the easy route. So I was gonna do a wig cap method, but at the same time, it's like, she's a dog. She has nothing for the wig cap to grip on. Like, she has no, like, you know, that. <coughs> Anyways, so... <coughs> Anyways, like I was saying, like I was gonna do the simple wig cap method, but at the same time, it's like she's a dog. Like the wig needs something to grip on, and quite frankly, she has like no like, what's it called? Like, if it's a forehead, I don't know. She don't got a rear head. She don't got a rear head, so it's like the wig can't grip onto anything. So I came up with a brilliant idea, and this idea is to create like this do rag type thing going on. I created like, this do rag thing. I created. Stop biting me! So. <laughs> So I created like this do-rag thing going on. Oh my god, it actually works. Like, damn. I gotta turn into Incredible Hulk for this bitch to listen to me. Smash you! So if this do-rag head scarf design, there will be a piece on the top where the weave is connected. Then on that, it will be two strings coming down where we could tie it beneath her neck so that the wig stays on. It has that extra support. And when we go for walks and stuff like that, it stays on. And all the boys will be looking at her. She'll be looking fly as fuck, sexy as fuck, bitch. She'll pull a couple niggas, bitch. Bag her something with her extra long weave. <laughs> Sip her. Sip her. Okay, sip her. Okay, so we're gonna measure out her head and then on top of that, we're gonna be talking about some topics that have been bothering me because, you know, I stay bothered and I stay talking about shit, so why not? So I'm basically drawing out the measurements of the... Okay, so we'll cut out the design and while we're doing that, I'm gonna be talking about a topic that have been on my mind. So the first topic is... TikTok, good morning. TikTok, 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 TikTok. Okay, we gotta cover her ears. Okay, so this is a question for the bitches that brag about having wet pussy 24-7. And, you know, I, I'm curious. Do you ever not want to be wet? Do you ever want to be dry sometimes? Like, how are you wet on command? Like, do you just and boom, you're wet? When I hear constant wetness, I think about bacteria, mold, you know, fungus. Like, bitch, damn, well, you might got some mushrooms growing on there or something, bitch. Like, I think about, like, this, like, wet, soggy environment. Like, why not choose to be wet occasionally? Like, why not choose to be wet with, like, perfect timing? You know, like, 24-7 wetness, like, bitches that brag about having wet pussy 24-7, like, yeah, I got that wet, wet, bitch. My pussy still wet, bitch. Pussy still wet, pussy still super soaker. Like, <sighs> Y'all are men. Y'all are gay men. It's no reason for women to be the topic of your conversation. Y'all gave women up. Y'all gave women up. Focus on men. So why is the focus never on the men? Please help me understand this. TikTok. Good morning. TikTok. 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 Hi guys, the first product that we're gonna be using is Nuch Vagina. Like, I wash my face with the same soap that I wash my ass with. And on a few occasions, I'll like bedazzle it and get fancy with like some olive oil or something and put it all over my face. I just wanna say like, I literally destroy my skin. My skin is crying for help. My skin is like, ah! I be putting like Sharpie markers all over my face. I be like sleeping in makeup and shit. Like, I'm telling you like, my skincare routine is genetics. Like, I just... 
I, I don't know what to say like like I'm telling you all these influencers either have like really good genetics or they like just could afford these like skincare products I'm telling you that like like I really don't know what people expect me to get out here and say when they ask me that question like do you expect me to say I use nooch vagina or like I don't know freaking scorpion semen on my face like I really just don't understand it okay so this is how it looks so far and this right here is where the weave is gonna go and this is gonna like tie around the neck so it's gonna be like this so it's gonna go out here and it's gonna tie below here so it has that support is it not pretty so we're gonna help my sis up with some european wave because you know she deserved that little oomph yeah look at a european wave like this shit right here this shit was <laughs> snatched from the scalp of a white person privilege She's walking around with privilege on her hair right now. Like, are you kidding me? Like, TikTok, good morning. TikTok, 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 TikTok. Dear TikTok creators, I am begging you. Like, I am actually begging you right now. Please, 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 please. Stop making those posts that go like your first act is the person that you gotta get freaky with like i'm telling you please stop like who is your target audience who is your target audience like every time i open my notifications like i'm always being tagged by a 12 year old with like a smirky face talking about freaky time like bitch what like for the sake of tiktok where the majority are kids like can you please keep it family friendly like can you please say something like your first act has to buy you mcdonald's your first act has to i don't know like do your homework something like that like your first act has to get freaky with you what my mans you got 12 year olds tagging me talking about freaky time bitch oh my god I could already see it on her head. It's gonna be so pretty. TikTok, good morning. TikTok, 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 TikTok. Right. I hear when bitches on the internet say something really, really, really fucked up, then make the excuse I was joking after you hurt their feelings. Bitch, you knew what the fuck you were doing. They'll say some dumb shit like, you skinny on the way mom, you rich bitch, don't you got a mom to feed you? Oh wait, you don't got a mom cause she's fucking dead bitch. Oh, not to mention that you look like a fucking whole slave bitch. LOL, crying face, crying face, crying face, crying face, crying face. And you know, I could respond with something as simple as, bitch, you're ugly and you're bald. <laughs> Bitch, you're ugly and you're bald now too. So then they'll do this thing where they'll go like, y'all can't really take a joke. Y'all take everything so seriously. <laughs> Bitch, where's the punchline in the joke? Where is the punchline in the joke? Let's talk about that. Don't be <laughs> Period. Like, bitch, don't be telling jokes. Like, you're not a comedian. You're a jackass. That's what you are, a jackass. Bitch, fuck around with you. Bitch trying to talk shit about me bitch it's almost like you try to gaslight the situation and make people think that i was the aggressor when i just defended myself actually i wasn't defending myself i was like joking i was joking back with you bitch but yeah somehow you try to make me seem like i'm the aggressor because you were joking after calling me a fucking slave you will not believe me when i say this but i found a cure for homophobia now before you start typing up a storm let me just say if there's no gay people then there's no homophobia like why can't we as a society get rid of gay people and cure this disease you can't hit on something that you can't see Unless it's fucking Satan because fuck that bitch, that bitch is evil as fuck. Fuck Satan. Okay, so now it's time to cut the wig and shape it up, like... I'll never understand toxic heterosexual males with dank humor. Like, y'all will really get it on Albert Einstein's internet. And really say that women aren't funny, but will laugh at a meme that goes like, Baba boy. Baba boy. Baba boy. Baba boy. Y'all would get up here and make racist jokes, xenophobic jokes, sexist jokes, homophobic jokes, transphobic jokes, and then quote it up with, it's just dank humor. It's just dark humor. Like, where is the punchline? Where is the satire? Where is it? 
where do we say okay guys break time's over stop playing and go fix that car what i'm about to say if you feel attacked right now then maybe it just is for you and maybe you need to open your eyes i hate when non-people of color speak on people of color slash black issues or try to silence people of color when they speak about their problems Let's talk about that. And you know, when I say non people of color, I mean, I. <sighs> I mean, fuck it, bitch. I mean, racist white people, bitch. You know what the fuck the deal is? Black people could be talking about Black Lives Matter, and here comes Columbus like, Well, actually, 90% of whites get killed in America. We get killed more than black people, and y'all don't talk about- Okay, so talk about it! Talk about it. Talk about it. You talk about it. If it bothers you that much, talk about it. Protest about it. Do you see the problem? Why are these statistics only brought up when black people have to open their mouth about black issues? Like, why aren't these statistics brought up randomly? Clearly, all eyes don't matter to you if you can't even speak up for your own people. I just want to say that. I just want to say that. I just really think that y'all must think that we're Avengers and we have to speak on everyone's issue and this and this and this and this and this. If something bothers you that much, you would speak about it. Am I right? Am I right? It's time to get this wig looking cute. She's gonna have a Karen Bob. This is her wig, it's gonna go on her head and she's gonna be walking around with like a fucking wig. We gotta bring her upstairs. Okay, so her favorite color is pink, so we're gonna take these. How'd you know her favorite color is pink? She's a dog, you dumb bitch. You're colorblind. Okay, friend. So we got you a present. It's a wig, look. Wait a damn minute, you're so cute. Wait, 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 wait. What is the tea? Hot stepper! You gonna get all the boys. You gonna be a manomizer, bitch. You gonna be a manomizer. You gonna get all the men. And now I gotta show my mom. <laughs> Come, girl. Oh! She took it off! Yes, Luna. Beyonce, give me the whip. Yeah. 